Hello, and welcome to today's video on my channel, which is going to be all about my eyes and how they're doing after receiving a PRK surgery two and a half years ago. This video is going to be about the long-term effects that I have experienced since receiving the surgery, but I do have two other videos on my channel which are more about the immediate recovery, one of which is a vlog that covers the one week post-op after the surgery, and the other is about two months after. So it gives you some more information about the timeline closer to the surgery than we will go over today. Okay, so the first thing I wanted to just sort of get out onto the table is the fact that I am still doing well. I am not experiencing any poor side effects, bad results, anything like that. I'm still very happy with the surgery and I definitely would still consider it a success. However, <laughs> because there's always a but. Um, I am experiencing two pretty minor side effects, uh, one of which being dry eyes, which is not really something that's uncommon, but it's not something I experienced prior to the surgery. And I will say it only really happens in certain circumstances, like when I wake up from a nap or in the morning when I'm waking up, or if I'm in the car and the AC is just blowing at my face, or if I'm looking at a computer screen for too long, or if I'm in a pretty dry environment. You know, it's it's not every single day that I'm dealing with this, but it has happened enough to where I ended up purchasing a whole bunch of little individual refresh tiers that I have stuck in my desk drawer, in my purse, in my little medicine cabinet in the bathroom, just various places that I feel like um, are the most helpful for me. So that's, probably the first one and then the second one is eye sensitivity to touch and that sounds kind of weird but uh people touch their eyes a lot more than you really think about and for me especially as somebody who wears makeup and then who washes my face every single day and night I'm doing like a lot of this motion and then like I'm packing eyeshadow onto my eye or like rubbing a brush on top of it so my eye definitely gets touched more maybe than some people and it's not as bad now as it was maybe within the first year following surgery, but it definitely still is noticeable and uncomfortable slash painful. When I touch my eye with too much pressure in the wrong place, like immediately over the iris area, essentially, where, or not iris, like the pupil area where they did the surgery, I just get a sharp jab that feels like when you accidentally bump your eye or when you get something in your eye and it like immediately starts to water it's just a very uncomfortable feeling and it's not something that happened before the surgery and like i mentioned it's not as bad anymore as within the first year but definitely still noticeable and it has taught me to be a lot more gentle with my eye and cautious when doing anything over the surgery area so that's the second thing. Those are the only two side effects that I uh, can notice and am slightly annoyed by, but it's not life-changing. It's nothing that is the end of the world for me. And they both have fixes. One is use eye drops and the other is don't be as mean when you touch your eyes or just don't touch your eyes as often. So I hope that information sort of eases your worries a little bit that I'm not experiencing any other adverse side effects or bad reactions. Um, but I did kind of want to say, because this is probably one of the more popular questions I get on social media, um, it took me about a month and a half to really feel like I could see clearly. And I mentioned this in one of the videos that I put down below, but I'll kind of go over it again in case there's anybody new watching. So... I went back to work about a week and a half following the surgery, which I think is pretty typical. You know, you get your one week of post-op and then you're pretty much cleared by the doctor to go back, which I did. And I have primarily a desk job. I'm looking at a computer, I'm talking to people, taking notes, that sort of thing. And when I went back to work, I could not see anything. <laughs> <laughs> my vision was extremely blurry still and I still had double vision so that was really frustrating to have to read emails and I would be squinting trying to figure out how to get the words into one line instead of four little blurry letters around each 
character. Um, so that was annoying. And then also, it was really difficult for me to see faces from across the room. So if somebody new came into the office, um, I wouldn't be able to recognize who they are. I couldn't read their name on their uniform. And for me, I was like, this is really awkward, especially if like I see somebody who I've like said hi to or interacted with a few times. If I saw them at the gym, I couldn't recognize them. And it was really awkward um, because I was definitely like looking at somebody because I was like, I think I know who that is, but I don't know. And they were looking at me and like trying to say hi, but I was just like, I don't know. And just didn't say anything. So that was kind of weird. Uh, but, oh, and I also had the weird nighttime driving experiences that were like, halos around car lights or like I said the double vision it existed also when I was driving on highway signs on the luminescent <laughs> on the luminescent highway signs uh, I couldn't read those so if you are somebody who relies heavily on reading transportation signs and using navigational devices or apps I suppose that might be a little tricky for you but Regardless, like I said, I did get my vision back that was clear after about a month and a half. After my one month post-op, I had a negative one prescription, which is just barely noticeable. In fact, I don't even really think I did notice except for like perhaps a small softness of the world. I couldn't see the crisp edges of leaves on the trees or whatever. Um, but f about the one and a half month mark, everything was crystal clear to me then. Everything else in my life was pretty normal. I went back to wearing makeup uh, pretty close to the end of my one week post-op. Uh, I was definitely really gentle with my eyes around that time, but I started working out again. Everything kind of went back to normal. It was just like the weird side effects that followed me immediately after the procedure, which since then have gone away. All of that to say, I'm happy I received the surgery. I can still see perfectly fine and I am satisfied with the results even two and a half years later. So if you are worried about any negative side effects, any bad results, I just suggest doing some more research, talking to your provider if you can, meeting with the surgeon, making sure you're going to a well-reputed specialty office who knows what they're doing, and make an informed decision because that's usually what helps you with the nerves, I think. Otherwise, I hope you found this video helpful and informational. Like I mentioned, there are two other on my channel closer to the recovery that happened two and a half years ago, so those are down in the description box below. If you have any questions, please sound off in the comments below and I'll be sure to answer them. And let me know if you have received PRK and have different outcomes than mine, or if you're thinking about it and you're just worried. Let me know. I'd love to hear about it. Other than that, I do hope to see you in the next video, but if I don't, that's okay. I had a good time meeting you, and if I do, well, I will see you then. Bye!